Hi, this is Dayan Paul, the creator of Creators for Stations. We are going to cover some tools today in Maya that we use to create this film, starting off with an environment. So we're going to create an environment here. I'm going to start by creating the ground, and we're going to go ahead and create a NURBS plane. Okay, so we can scale that up if we like in the scene. And we can see there's plenty of detail in this, uh, in this plane so far. We would like to make this higher though, and I'm going to go into the Make Nerves Plane options here and change this to 75. So now we have a little bit more detail. And I put it in shaded mode here so you can see what it looks like shaded. Okay, so it's basically just a plane right now, nothing special about it at all. So we want to go ahead and start sculpting this. I want to start sculpting a landscape out of it. So what I'm going to do is use the Edit NURBS Sculpt Geometry Tool. And this is uh, something that I use quite often. Um, you can go ahead and sculpt out features like mountains or different things. You can also push down if you'd like to create sort of a river. I can hold down the B key here to uh, change the size of the brush. Because I want two deep of a river down the middle here. I can kind of sculpt along there. Um, and there's also a smoothing tool. So if I get kind of a little mess up like I did over there, I can go ahead and smooth that out. So basically, those are the basic things I use. There's also an erase where you can go ahead and erase back to the original surface, and uh, what I'll bring it back to kind of just a flat area if you like. Um, very helpful though, very helpful to be able to revert back to the surface in case you make a mistake, and you don't want to flood the whole thing and create it all over again. So I'm going to get rid of my river here because I mostly want to just create a mountainous scene. So I'm going to switch back to the pole, and I'm going to start uh, kind of sculpting some different features here. So we don't want to really create a super dense mesh and create every little grain of sand and bump in there. So we're just going to go ahead and create a, a texture map that has a bump map in it. So it was important for us to do a uh, surface that had, uh, that had textures that were able to render really high res. So we opted to use the uh, procedural textures, and we're going to look at the uh, hypershade here. How we can do that. So we're going to create some uh, a material first, and I'll create this fogging shader. And what I'll do is I'm going to create a fractal uh, texture for that, which is a procedural texture. So I won't have to worry about kind of saving a super high res texture map to this. I can just kind of create this. Uh, I can create this fractal thing here. Assign that up to the surface. Uh, now you notice I'm not seeing a texture here, so I'm going to flip into texture view mode. So there you can see I kind of have a, a very grainy surface. Um, but I'd also like to have little kind of bumps in there. And I like those, those little dark and light areas to represent uh, a bump map. So what I'm going to do now is I'll go into my textures. Select my texture, my um, material, and then I'm going to drag my texture onto bump map. And you can see there's the amount of bump I want to put on it. Mm -hmm. You can adjust that if you want. Um, and if I want to 
of see what it looks like without actually rendering and I can just tell it to the project and go to the high quality rendering. And there you can see what it kind of looks like with a hub map. So I'm going to turn that off for now. And now we're going to go ahead and create some C plants. So to create the C plants, what I did was I uh, used the Maya paint effects. Um, so I'm going to select the surface here and I'm going to use from my rendering menus my paint effects and when I make a surface paintable that allows me to kind of draw the paint effects on top of here and you're going to see how neat these things are. We're going to look at the general editors and open up the visor so inside the visor you'll see there's a whole bunch of these brushes. Some are geometry, some are more just like two brushes. But we're going to use the meshes um, if you will. So let's take a look at the meshes and we're going to look at underwater. So you'll see there's a whole bunch of underwater brushes here. And uh, as you can see I can kind of just pick one and start drawing on the surface here. that they contour to the surface when I draw around it. So these are quite neat. They're also, um, there's also some, some little particles. They're all sort of a, a particle type of effect, um, but they also kind of generate geometry. That, uh, that would be very difficult to do um, if you had to go out and model all of these different things. So you can see creating a very similar landscape to what you saw in in the little movie, and the two weeds and all kinds of things, and really you know, have some great options with some paint effects. And uh, the other thing about paint effects which is great is that they're already animated, so they're already kind of waving in the water for you, um, ready to go. And they can be modified, of course, and uh, when you render them out, they can look a, a lot nicer when you have lights and everything on. But basically, that 